to your girl, Malika, and I'm back with another video. I don't know what I was going for, but I kind of created this Victorian kind of like vampire queen of the night type look. And I use, of course, all clean beauty. And I attempted to put on lashes today didn't turn out perfectly so yeah but um this video will be voiceover so you guys will know what i'm doing but i thought it was fun and i really wanted to get this makeup look up my nephew's birthday is monday so this will be going up in honor of him he is turning nine years old i'm so so proud of you i love you and i wish i could have been there Shout out to all the other Scorpio birthdays. Mine is a November. I'm a November Scorpio. But shout out to all of you. And let's get into this Halloween look. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. All right, guys. We're going to start off with a gray eyeshadow. Any gray eyeshadow you have will do because the eyeshadow I am using is from the old um honest beauty line and i believe that that is discontinued so it really doesn't matter any great eyeshadow will do and if you are tuning in right now i hope you will consider subscribing um we have a lot of fun on this channel i do makeup i vlog and i'm about to start a video podcast so stay tuned for that now we're taking that deeper gray shadow and we're just going to take that on the outer part and build it up to give our eyes more dimension um i really like how this look turned out i just did it off the top of my head i had a few ideas of how i wanted to do the look but I just didn't know how it was gonna turn out until I did it this morning so you're just smoking that out and adding more lighter gray to it so it's more opaque and all of that and then you're gonna see that purple eyeshadow from Emmy cosmetics and that is called plummy I love that shade it's so beautiful and you really could wear this look out if you skip all the theatrical makeup and you just add some eyeliner, maybe some eyelashes and do your regular foundation routine. This would be a cute at night look. I'm taking that deeper gray shade and just going completely underneath my waterline with it and smudging it out. Then I'm going to take my foundation from Laws of Nature and my skin tint from uh, Florence by Mills and I'm mixing those together and I just apply this all over my face. I love the coverage of this foundation. Laws of Nature is my favorite and if you are new to the brand, I have a 10% a coupon code in the description box for you off your first purchase um, I do get a little commission from that you are not obligated to go through that but it does help the channel and if you do choose to do that I greatly appreciate you I'm taking that gray shadow and I am contouring with it because I wanted this to be creepy and you know I wanted it to be like creepy I just don't know <laughs> and so I'm taking some red lipstick on that brush from Ilia Beauty which is called Lucy's Party and I'm smudging that in with the black and I'm also going to use that to create the blood tears which I had a fun time doing adding some more uh, eyeshadow and then I'm doing the tears and I'm also going to use a eyeliner from Green Beauty for us I'm not sure if she still makes this but if she does go snag you one this eyeliner is so creamy and it just goes on so smooth I really hope that she still has this in her collection because I'm going to need a new one soon and so I was just doing 
any which way with the tears and I'm deepening them up with that eyeliner again because I want it to look like you know when blood hits oxygen it just turns like an ox blood kind of deep tone color and then I wanted it to look dark as well because it would be fading from my eyeshadow down there and now I'm taking my eyeliner from Zuzu Lux, I think that's the brand name, but it's in Raven. And I'm just creating crosses on that one eye. And I just thought that added to the look. Very cute. Creating one blood tear on this eye. I kind of messed it up. I made it too fat, so I definitely had to um, clean it up. And then I got some eyeliner on my nose but laws of nature took care of that it covered it right up without me having to take any makeup off and yeah you just want to blend that until you get your desired look and clean it up if you have to and call it a day all right i'm just fixing up my little contour and then I'm contouring my nose with that same gray. I just like the effect that it gave. Like this makeup would probably be great for a Halloween party. I wish I had one to go to. Now I'm lining my lips and I'm going to fill them in and completely with that same black eyeliner. And then I'm going to take Lucy's party and put that in the middle, but that ends up not working for me. So I go and get Fears from Red Apple Lipstick. And then I'm topping that with a lip gloss from Noose Beauty. I believe in the color Cali or Diana, I'm not sure. Then I'm going to take that red shade from the Mentic Cosmetics Everyday Palette and that's going to be my blush. And then I'm taking a light shade of gray again around my forehead and stuff just to make me look a little more ghoulish and crazy then I'm gonna take that silver shade in that same gray palette from honest beauty and that's gonna be my um, highlight I just wanted to have a very light highlight and I put it on my nose my cupid's bow and down the bridge of my nose and really this is the complete look all I did after that was add lashes which took me forever you guys so here is the completed look thank you all for watching I hope you will consider subscribing leave your thoughts down below thumbs up and share this video wherever you share videos and happy Halloween